that doesn't even fit a little bit. <sighs> what a fine Sunday. <sighs> Hello guys and welcome to another video. Today we are actually going to upgrade the seats in my Nissan 200SX S14A. If you are not already subscribed to the channel, please go and subscribe right now and I will see you also in the next video. Today we are going to be upgrading the seats because the seats in, is really important that because that is simply what is holding you in, in place. And, but you don't want to use energy on holding yourself in place. That's the job that the seat has. It should hold you in place. And this original seat, it doesn't. I mean, if I'm driving fast on track and I'm turning hard, I mean, you see, my body feels those g-forces and it immediately sends me flying to either way. So, to show you now a quick test of actually driving a little bit faster and see how much it affects. is the seat that we are going to put in my s14 as you see it's not new at all it's something i just found used and it has adjustable like it can go forward and backwards and it can tilt the back so yeah it's not looking the best you see here it's, yeah, it's not that good but i think this padding right there right there and right there will hold me much better in place compared to this it'll be an upgrade and this is just for fun i will not keep this for very long i think if i do like this that much i will buy a new bucket seat as you see here no padding at all here compared to here so hopefully this will be nice four bolts in the floor take those out disconnect the heat seat heating and Oh yeah, I will miss the seat heating now. That will suck. Anyways, four bolts and some guy has modded this seat so it should fit. So it should fit. He has actually welded on a plate and it's a hole here. I hope that fits. And it's... Yeah, he has <laughs> made a bend because this on that side in the rear you need this, that nut or bolt to go in there that way hopefully it does work I don't know we'll see time will tell okay so now it's time to just unbolt these four bolts that should be it disconnect some wiring maybe it's 16 it's not 16 14 mil that's what it is There we go, that's the front, and now we just take the seats all the way like that. And then, uh, uh, and then we do like that, and then we take these ones in the back. Quite simple. Now comes the fun part, unplugging whatever's under here. I think that's it. Oh yeah, the belt is on the seat. I didn't think of that. Um, hopefully there's a bracket on my bucket seats. Wow. 
Wow. That doesn't even fit a little bit. It's way too high. I mean... Uh, I'm literally... Is this the reason why you should not buy things that are really cheap online? I think so. Because I didn't even hesitate one second when I saw this online for like 20 euros, I think. I just saw, oh, it's nearby, it's cheap, whoop, let's go get it. Uh, yeah, this is the reason why you don't do those purchases. I think that's why you should not buy these cheap things online. Because the guy did have an S13 and I don't know, but I think S13s have the same mounting. And... So there's a reason maybe he did not mount it in his car. I thought it was just because he wanted nicer looking seats. But now I get it because this doesn't fit at all. Like at all. It doesn't fit. Yeah. That doesn't fit. Like the bracket here doesn't fit. This doesn't fit. Both of the fronts does not fit. Maybe I can swap over from that one. I don't know. Yeah, I think today's lesson is that you should not just buy cheap stuff online if you think it's cool you should do a little bit just a little bit of research before you buy something it's nice to sit in i must admit that it's cool it gives me support here so that's kind of cool but and here so i think this would be kind of cool but i'm sitting way too high let me see if i can swap over that like suspension of the seat <sighs> If not, I think this episode is going to be don't buy cheap stuff online before you do some research because that's exactly what I've done and now I'm sitting here on a Sunday and just wasting my life on cheap parts again. This is not the first time. Ugh. God damn it. <sighs> what a fine Sunday. <sighs> okay, now it's... <sighs> mm, great! Now it's not lining up at all. That's fantastic. Why is it not lining up? I mean, if both in the back are tightened, it should be straight to the one in the front. But it's not. There we go. <laughs> what a disaster. <laughs> no good. No good. Don't be fooled by cheap internet stuff like this bucket seat. I thought that since I saw this bracket and that one and I we kind of measured like really quickly I thought that yeah this guy had done his homework and that should be correctly because you see here on the rear one right there that's also like that the bolt goes in that way not directly to the floor it goes into the transmission tunnel so that's why I thought that this guy had done this this properly but I was mistaken piece of <sighs> Stupid seat. I was supposed to enjoy a beautiful drive today with you, but now you just... Yeah. Damn it. I'm sorry, this was not the video I was supposed to show you today. I was supposed to get that bucket seat in and uh, install it and show you how much of a difference it's, it makes. But trust me, it does make a difference. I did have a bucket seat in my winter beater last year, an E36 compact, which I used on track and on snow and yeah, a lot of stuff. So I used it like everywhere. <laughs> it was my daily. And bucket seat really does help because you do not use so much energy on holding your body straight in front of the steering wheel you like keeping your body in control anyways every video cannot be perfect and there is a lot of mistakes happening when i do work on cars like today so i thought that would be i will post this video because i want to share to you that working on cars is not it's not always easy especially if you're that stupid as i am and buying used parts without doing the proper research first i mean if you buy coilovers for this car, I have coilovers for this car actually already, I will install soon, and I assume that will go by 
a lot easier because they're meant for the car. This is some homemade stuff. So no wonder it doesn't work. Now you know the truth <laughs> about working on cars. It's not always that easy to be honest because things always take a lot longer than you think and sometimes you don't even get to install the parts you bought like today. <sighs> well, thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned something useful as today as well. And I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.